Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll do some initial experiments with Galena ore. Recently, we gathered 5 kilograms of this dense, metallic looking ore from the side of a mountain. I will be processing the entire bucket in a later video. Remember to subscribe so you won't miss it. We first started with an examination of our Galena samples. We found this shiny piece of pure Galena and decided to subject it to a density analysis with a helium pycnometer. The results were intriguing. A density of 6.41 grams per cubic centimeter, a tad lower than the expected 7.4 for pure galena. This variance hinted at the presence of other materials mixed with the ore, albeit the sample's considerable weight was a promising indicator of its lead content. We also decided to grab an average looking stone and perform an XRF analysis with it. We'll discuss the results later in the video. Next we picked out a few samples from our collection, crushing it to enhance the surface area for reaction. The sample weighed in at 126.32 grams. Once crushed, the ore was dissolved in hydrochloric acid. Galena is a sulfide of lead, so it liberates a ton of toxic hydrogen sulfide gas. Following the dissolution, we filtered out the impurities. The leftover filter cake was then reprocessed, ground up and redissolved in concentrated HCl to ensure that no lead was left unextracted. With our solution prepared, we set up an electrolytic cell with a lead cathode and platinum coated titanium anode. Running an electrical current through the cell, we eagerly anticipated the crystallization of lead onto the cathode. Our previous XRF analysis of a single rock had indicated a lead content of 16%, setting high expectations for the yield. However, chemistry often surprises us. Despite the promising analysis, the electrolysis process yielded a mere 2 grams of lead. This unexpected result led us to reassess the representative of our initial analysis. Considering the possibility of sample variability within our larger ore collection. The remaining solution was treated with sulfuric acid to detect any residual lead, but no precipitation occurred. Similarly, redissolving the filter cake in nitric acid revealed no trace of lead, suggesting that our initial 126 gram sample might not have been as rich in lead as others in the collection. We will continue refining the rest of our 5 kg Galena collection using a slightly different process. So stay tuned for the final result of lead we will be able to extract. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.